Here, question number nine says, compare the test strategy with the test plan. You can see emphasis on test strategy and test plan. Your answer should include similarities and differences. And the first thing you need to do is, let's look at the map and look at this. This is a six-mark question, a six-mark question. So that means, since the question says it should include similarities and differences. You could actually do three similarities and three differences to end the full six marks. So let's start. The first thing we need to consider is that test strategy and test plan comes under system life cycle. And I think that is um, uh, stage three, which is under development and testing. Don't forget when we look at system life cycle, we talked about three basic, I mean, we talked about six basic stages or steps to creating a new ICT solution. And the first stage is analysis. The second stage is uh, design. The third stage is development and testing. The fourth stage is implementation. And then um, the fifth stage is documentation. And the last stage, sixth stage is evaluation. So this question comes from the third stage, which is development and testing. If you check the textbook uh, under development and testing, you see that um, it talks about this session concerns some of the development stages and testing strategies, which are often adopted by system analysts. So you will see that under test designs, whenever you want to you want to create a uh, the design for your test because in creating a new ICT solution, a new software or a new system, you need to test it before you deliver to um, the management that has given you the work to do. So then on that test designs, you need to see how the system will be tested. So it's something that you need to prepare beforehand. So if you look at this, what are those things we are looking at? We are looking at how to test the data structures, the file structures, the input method, the output format, the testing and testing the validation rules. All these things are very important. So let's let's pick it one after the other. For test strategies, because software is often developed in modular form. Modular form simply means modules by modules. So you know it will be easier to modify to correct or detect errors in each module so that's why our software is being developed in modular form so take note of that because this method allows it to be broken down into smaller parts known as modules and each module is developed separately by a programmer or a team of programmer and if there is any need to test it or to correct it it will be done separately to see if on its own it functions correctly before bringing everything together so that is very important so we need to know that then for test uh, plan so one thing about test plan is that for test plan the test plan should include a list of all the tests to be performed what data is to be used in the testing type of testing the data is checked whether it is normal abnormal or extreme or whether it is uh, after all these uh, test data data have been you know supplied to the system to confirm how it works then you can now test it with live data so then live data will be used what the expected outcomes are from the testing then do the actual outcomes match what is expected so all these things are very very important and you will see that as you have it in the recommended textbook so for example if you look at here this is this table is an example of a test plan you know test plan will have the data set the data input type of data input whether it is normal abnormal extreme then the expected outcome so you compare it with the actual outcome so now going back to the question the question is asking us to compare and it says we should include similarities and differences similarities and differences so let's let's do that with the similarities and differences let me write in color red so for the similarities we say both test plan and test strategy are used in test design you need to know that under test designs they are used under similarities that both are 
document produced by the developer maybe the system analyst analyst or the programmer or as the case may be so take note of that that's under uh, similarity under the similarity is that um, the results gotten affects the implementation what does that mean it means that the results gotten from testing the new system or the software would determine whether the implementation is immediate or if there's any improvement or any modification that's what it means so all these are similarities for this question but if you want to go to uh the differences i'm, I'm going to say that here for differences we can say for test plan it is test plan describes how to test you can see the difference how to test who to test when to test that is test plan breaking it down so it is specific then another thing about test plan is that test plan shows the test objective then another thing you can add to that is that test plan is about the test being carried out being carried out currently that's the test plan so but for test strategy let me go to test strategy. so we are talking about the difference between the two for test strategy for test strategy let me zoom in so that you can see it clearly for test strategy on the other hand is more detailed when test plan is specific to a particular piece of code that has been you know tested test strategy is more detailed and then apart from that it shows the method to be used to test it another thing is that the test strategy is a set of instructions we need to know that too it's a set of instructions which explain the test design you can see the difference now another difference that you can say is that the test strategy determines how the test should be carried out and it states what type of technique to follow so all these and many more are the differences so and i need to say this that it is usually created before the test plan that's one thing about the test strategy because test, uh, the test strategy is holistic where whereas test plan is specific to a piece of code that is being tested so these are examples of what you could write to end the full mark of six so take note of that so let's go to the next question which is question 10. 